Hey, what's up, guys? So let's solve this 2115. Find all possible uh, uh, recipes from given supplies. Now, uh, this problem is interesting uh, because uh, I, I somehow used some very brute force to solve it. So maybe it's, it's definitely not optimal, but uh, I can solve in the test. So you have information of uh, recipes and you're given uh, uh, recipes and uh, to the array called ingredient. Basically, you can create and there are also supplies. Okay. And you can. Uh, so each recipe has some ingredients, and if all the ingredients are in the supply, that you can create recipes. So this problem looks very easy if you only see the first paragraph. Okay? But, but the difficult part is that uh, if you get some recipes that you can create it, you can plug that recipes into the supplies. Okay, so <laughs> supplies will be, uh, supplies can be enlarged. Okay, so return a list of all recipes that you can create. Uh, this problem, so for example, uh, bread. So bread need yeast and flour. And so you have yeast and flour, right? So you can create bread, right? So you can just create bread. So this problem, uh, this is very simple. For this one, bread and sandwich. So you see bread need yeast and flour, right? Yeast and flour can give you bread. But you see there are sandwich, sandwich need bread and meat. So you can create bread. And then put so once you see you can create bread, you can put bread into the supplies. And then so now you see your supplies has yeast, flour, bread, and meat. And sandwich has a bread and meat, right? So bread and meat are in you can create sandwich. So answer is this. So this is difficult, right? Because if each time you see the bread, you, you need to put in put in supplies, right? So supplies will be large. Okay, and the least problem is very uh, also very, very uh, also the same thing. Uh, right, you can see, uh, let me, maybe let me just do this. Right, so you see bread, bread need yeast and flour, right? So yeast and flour are okay. So bread can be constructed, right? So you can put bread. So supplies has bread. And the sandwich, you need the uh, bread and meat, right? So bread and meat are, can give you a sandwich. So you can put sandwich. And the burger need the uh, sandwich, meat and bread, sandwich, meat and bread. So every one of these can be created. Okay, so how to uh, how to do this, right? So you can create an answer as a set, and then you default dictionary. You first go through each supplies and check uh, who else, what 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 in the supplies, right? Uh, now uh, let me just do this, right? So for now, uh, you can create this. You can so if 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 you don't care about if you don't care about uh, if if you don't put the new if you don't put the new recipes that you can create into supplies, you will just write this, right? You just run through for n range n. If everything, if all ingredients are in the uh, are uh, has non-zero value, that means that this is okay. So you can create, you can add the recipes and the as recipe add what, right? This is the steps. So basically, once you do this, uh, you you got uh, you will put for example, in this case, you will put braid into the supplies. Okay. Uh, now you just need to iterate this code n times, right? Because each time you put one of these, then the there each each time you each round you run one of these, you will get you will eliminate one recipe. So in this case, in this case, every recipe can be created. So at most, you just need to run n times, okay? So definitely you can solve this problem just by iterate every times. So you just go through each times. So first time you will get the braid, uh, you will add braid into surprise and then you run exactly the code the same. You run the same time and then you will put sandwich in. And then you put, then you run, then you will put burger in. So you just need to run this n squared time. And definitely you can solve this problem. And your n is less than 100, right? So it's it's very good that, uh, so if you use this, then you don't care about the order. You just brute force solve this problem. It's not better, but I uh, can solve it. Okay, see you guys in the next video.